Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. It is so good to be back on um, this channel. The name of my channel is Nuggets for Life. I haven't been on here for a couple of days because I've been doing a lot of things. and um, But tonight I wanted to come on because I knew the Holy Spirit was letting, leading me to come on. So we're not going to go through the preliminaries. But I am Pastor Merlin Boyd from Nashville, Tennessee. And um, anything you need to know about me is going to be in the description tonight. Um, for those of you, of you that may be new. So tonight I'm going to give you a quick nugget. And we're going to go right into the word. And it's Acts 28, 1 through 6. And it reads, As Paul gathered an armful of sticks and was laying them on the fire, a poisonous snake driven out by the heat fastened itself on his hand. Fourth verse. The people on the island saw it hanging there and said to each other, a murderer, no doubt, though he escaped the sea, justice would not permit him to live. Fifth verse. But Paul shook off the snake into the fire and was unharmed. Sixth verse. And the people waited for him to swell up or suddenly drop dead. But when they waited long, a long time and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and decided he was a god, small god. When I think about this lesson, I think about how Paul had been in a storm. And he was, uh, they were shipwrecked. Um, and the, they landed up on the island of Malta. And it was over 200 and some sailors and him. And he was supposed to be going to, to court to see Caesar. He had, it was a must that he go see Caesar. He had to go to court. So he was on this ship on his way to go to court. But then a storm arose and it caused the ship to get all torn up pieces. And so they made it to another island called Malta on pieces of the ship. Some swam, some took, took planks from the ship and they swam to dry land. When they got there, there were some barbarians, um, people, and they were on the island, and they were, and it was very cold. So Paul, they greeted Paul with love, and they, you know, told him he can come on, and they'll help him, whatever. So as they greeted Paul, Paul gets picks up some sticks, and he began to put the sticks in the fire. And as he put the sticks in the fire, a snake came out of the heat from the fire and it latched on to Paul's hand and because it was latching on to his hand Paul didn't scream or holler or anything he just shook it off into the fire that's my topic tonight shake it off into the fire shake it off the people of this island saw it hanging there and they said to each other a murderer no doubt Though he escaped the sea, he escaped the storm. He escaped the sea. He should have died in, at the sea. But the Lord allowed him. This is what they're thinking. The Lord allowed him to pass, to, to, to live from, 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 from the storm. But even though the Lord let him live from, from the storm, he comes here and now a snake has bit him. And now he's going to still die. This is the way they're thinking. So he must be a murderer. Because... They thought back then, if, any, if all bad things happen to you and things keep happening to you, you must have done something wrong. You must be a murderer for things to be happening to you. But that's not so. Uh, we're all going to go through some type of trial, some type of tribulation, some type of problem, some type of trouble. It's not because we've done anything wrong. We could be doing everything right and we're still going to go through because the reigns on the just as well as the unjust. Paul, Paul, Paul shook this snake off into the fire. And no harm was done to him. The people, the, the people, the barbarians, they were waiting to see if, wait for him to swell up, to see if he would die. They thought he would drop dead and die. Because see, these snakes were poison. This snake was a poisonous snake. But when they waited so long and no harm came to Paul, Paul they said he was a god, a little god, G-O-D, little god, little G. And the reason I said little G is because they believed in all kind of gods. They didn't believe in the one true living God. 
the God of the world, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They didn't believe in that God. They believed in little gods. They had a God for rain, a God for money. They had a God. They had gods for everything. So they believed in little gods, not the big God, the little gods. Three things I want you. To, I need you to know. God had promised a safe passage for Paul because he was going to see. See, he had to go. He had to go to court. He had to be there. God had plenty of work for Paul to do. It wasn't time for him to die. It was not time. And, and, and so Paul had work to do. Listen, our life is in God's hand. It doesn't matter what tries to destroy you or who or who would try to kill you. It won't work because God will not allow the venom to penetrate in you. Are you being kept by God in his love? And because you're being kept by God in his love, the, the, the venom will not penetrate in you. As a matter of fact, he'll make the venom where it, it, it's, it's null and void. It's not, it's, it's not effective. The snake was poisonous, but God would not allow the snake to harm Paul. Whatever snake that tries to latch on to you, the venom has been removed by God. The poison is ineffective. So, just go on and shake that snake off into the fire. What is a snake? Well, I'm talking a spiritual snake. I'm talking about anything that's trying to destroy you, trying to kill you, anything that's trying to make you sick, anything that's trying to cause you to have depression and oppression and discouragement and low, low self-worth, anything that harms you or try to ruin you is a snake. And it's hanging on your hand. It has no power over you. Shake it off into the fire. Then the third thing I want you to know. People saw it bite you. And now they're waiting for you to swell up and die. That thing that they thought would kill you and ruin you is going to bless you. Shake that thing off into the fire. Shake it in the fire. Shake it off into the fire. It has no power. It has no power. You know why? Because it ain't your time yet. The venom is none of, it's null and void. It's, 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 it's not effective. Because God has a work for you to do. And since he has work for you to do, I don't care what come and hang on you. I don't care what try to hang on to your arm. I don't care what try to connect to you. It's not going to work. It won't work. Just shake it off into the fire. Shake it off into the fire. Again, shake it off into the fire. The venom has been taken out. It's not going to harm you. It can crawl all around you, but it's not going to harm you. It may even latch on to you for a minute, but it has no power over you. All you have to do is just shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off into the fire. Burn it up. Don't try to hold on to it. Burn it up. Shake it off into the fire. I love y'all. The word of God for the people of God. Have a good night.